Girl, hold on. Because I gotta eat this. Salmon bagel, egg bagel. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it um i have Huey is literally being such a baby today he's being cranky and i need you to let mommy film all right all right love you boo boo you can't be all up in my juice today i'm going to be using the rose water and glycerin these are very inexpensive i think this shouldn't be that expensive. I mean, it's not like it's like a high-end product, so. I want to say you can get it at Ulta too, but I know Whole Foods sell it, and I know, like, with everything taking a while to kind of, like, get shipped. I mean, it's not, I, I don't think you can wait for it to get shipped. You don't have to go out, but I know that they sell it at Whole Foods too, so that's where I picked it up at. Went to Target to get some more products because I actually got sent some stuff from this brand called Haley's. This is not sponsored, by the way, but I was just like, okay, well, they sent me some stuff. I kind of want to do, like, a uh, kind of girl talk. Mm, more of a drugstore kind of video so let's go ahead and just get into some of these questions and topics that you guys have asked me about um right now i'm going to be using the haley's uh primer i love the packaging of this company by the way it's really really cute this kind of gives me like a matting kind of primer i like just trying out new things and giving you guys some options i usually go for more of like a dewy but this is cool too it's not too mattifying but it's like a soft like kind of matte feel they also sent me a beauty sponge which it feels pretty soft it's not like that rubbery feeling so i kind of am excited to use this i think i'm gonna use their dewy foundation though because that's kind of like more my speed and i just like this like everyday dewy kind of flawless skin you know what i mean if someone asked going into quarantine a month in talking stage with a guy tips and advice okay so guys i've been in quarantine relationship for a very long time because my relationship is long distance so i've kind of been doing this for a minute like me and jermaine have been together for almost almost four years the period of our, us being together like we've we've haven't like had the luxury of like always being around each other so we had to like force not force it but like really get good on communicating and at first not to be like super into my relationship but like it was difficult i'm not gonna lie like it was kind of hard to i mean it wasn't difficult in the sense of like finding things to talk about but it was difficult into like expressing our feelings sometimes because you're not physically there with that person um so what i would say is you know there's a ways of you know communicating and, but i mean how me and jermaine have been communicating over this time is just kind of like how we've been communicating FaceTime. I really enjoy talking to him. I know it's a month into you talking to this new person, but I mean, this is a great time to like really get to know somebody on a more like mental level, I guess you could say. I don't think that's the word I'm trying to, the best word I'm trying to use, but you can really get to know like what kind of person they are um, in this time because you have a, so much time to really just communicate and talk. I was telling somebody else this too. They're like, how do I date in quarantine? Like, set up a day where you guys both have dinner at the same time like obviously not in the same house but like on facetime me and jermaine like watch movies together we play games together too like on our phones and like talk about things that aren't so surface level i mean i think it's really important to just kind of like really get to know them on less of a i guess it's intimate but not really intimate like that like more on a basis of like this is the kind of person i am and I'm trying to get to know who you are. Like, do kind of, like, surface level stuff because it's only a month. But, like, still try to give that, get that communication going to where it just becomes less about, like, surface level things and more, like, intimate details about them. Um, it's still so new, though. So I can't really say, like, ask them if they want to get married and have children. But, you know, like, there's ways of, like, having just good conversation without, you know making it awkward making it weird like doing something fun 
that you guys both would enjoy things like that i i really can't say that much because it's still pretty early to get to know somebody after a month but i would say just give it a try i mean the worst gonna happen is that you know he just says okay well this is just not working out for me so you know like and then you don't need to be with something like that anyway that doesn't have like patience you know i'm hoping we'll be out soon enough and then you guys can really like do fun things together I, trust me i know i'm so over this whole situation <laughs> like i'm ready to get the f asap i really do like this and it's my shade i feel like i feel like this is like actually my color okay hey Liz, i see you kind of on the same subject spicing up the relationship okay so i really think that and i know we can't really do this right now but I really think that traveling with your significant other is so important. It shows so much of a personality of someone when they leave the country. It's like you get to see them in a different element and how they react to things. Um, you get to see how they handle things, if they're calm or if they're one of those people that you can't really travel with. Because there's certain people you cannot travel with. And usually you can't really be with them if you can't travel with them i mean you just get to see so much of a personality and i think it's just so important to like do that because it just puts you guys in a different space a different place so yeah i would say traveling is one way to kind of one get a better idea of the person that you're with but also kind of just give you guys a new adventure a new a new memory together a way to kind of build chemistry and i feel like those things are really important like do things that are kind of like out of the ordinary we went to um oh for jermaine's birthday we went to montreal and that was really fun we didn't even do that much stuff but we just traveled like we just went somewhere i think we always kind of started our relationship that way like I, the first time we ever traveled together we went to the bahamas and that was like a way that was like something that kind of made me look at him differently and made me kind of like oh my gosh i can actually be with this person it was really fun i enjoyed it we had a great time we got to know each other better ever since then we've always kind of like made it a thing we travel every new year it, it's just like a, those are to me that's a great way to spice a relationship but since we're not really traveling that much right now not something that's super routine for you guys is really good to do and to me that's a good way to like quote unquote spice up something spice up a relationship whatever i get this question a lot still i don't know like i don't I, maybe i've never really answered the question i mean i feel like i have like a million times but how did me and jermaine meet and is it hard being long distance um i will not lie to you it is kind of difficult we've known each other for quite a while and we met through and we met through youtube so i started my youtube channel i want to say about five years ago yeah about five years ago and at the time, I watched one of his vlogs and I was like, oh my gosh, this guy really knows how to, how to freaking, like, do some shit. Like, he knows how to, like, edit really well. I wasn't scared to ask, but I was like, oh, what if he, like, I don't know, what he's mean and he just, like, doesn't want to tell me how to, you know, freaking use YouTube. And I was still learning. I didn't know how to do Final Cut. I didn't know none of that. I was just like, I want to do YouTube, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I asked him some questions about, like, oh my gosh, like, how do you do this? I don't know, like, and he just helped me. And he's always been super, super helpful from the very beginning. I'm trying to find my concealer, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know if this is going to be my color, though, because it looks really light. I look pink. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to use my other concealer. My, my high-end concealer. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, so he just started helping me with, like, certain things here and there, right? One time I was in L.A. and they were in L.A., and it was like around my birthday and that was really fun because i like i was like i think that's when i started to like oh my gosh i kind of like him i think i like him <laughs> it never amounted to any like at that time i just never amounted to anything it was just like okay well i kind of like him but you know we're friends so we're just gonna be friends and that's it i want to say like maybe a year after that oh we're looking snatched already we're looking freaking snatched okay like maybe a year after that i want to say is that when we started dating we tried to start dating basically we we're just like it was like a new thing we weren't really dating dating yet but like that was like my nigga in my head like that's my nigga but like that's not my nigga yet but that's my nigga but he not my nigga yet i moved to la and then like we really i think that's when like we really were like okay like i want to be in a relationship with you and we're in a relationship together and when i tell y'all <laughs> it's been a very <laughs> It's been a really good relationship. It's been a very good relationship, but it took a lot of growth from both of us. Because I feel like when we first started dating to now is two different people. I feel like one thing that me and Jermaine always had was a really good... We trusted each other. Always. And I really do trust him 
so much and he trusts me and I just feel like he would never like do anything to hurt me intentionally like he would never do that to me and I'm putting a lot of pressure on you so don't freaking break my heart dude <laughs> um no I feel like he would never do that intentionally he would always have my best interest that's what's really helped us as far as like us being in a relationship for so how, for so long is that he has just always been like just a good hearted person good at heart always 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 and i mean i feel like i am too and that's what's really helped our relationship grow like it has because and how we're able to do this even is because you know we trust each other and that's a really important thing to have like with the person that you're with you have to like trust them you just have to you can't be with somebody you don't trust it's never going to work like it's just not it's not gonna work if you don't trust that person if you can't be a thousand percent with them regardless if they're here physically with you or a million miles away like if you can't put your hundred percent trust in somebody then it's just not gonna work in general like it's just not someone asked being friends with someone that you're you're cool with somebody but they're friends with somebody that you're not cool with <sighs> those relationships usually they just don't they just don't they just don't usually it has it, something has to break something either the person stops being friends with that person or you walk away it's hard to be friends with people that are friends with somebody you just don't get along with don't care for all those things like i've it's hard for me I, i'm and i'm not gonna lie i think i don't know what it is like i just feel like i can i trust you like to be around someone that doesn't even like me like doesn't have my best interests at heart like I don't know if I can be friends with somebody like you if you're friends with people that don't don't like me. Like I've been down that road so many times before and it's never worked. It's always been an issue. Like it's always been like you have to be if you be around that person, if they come around or if they're talking about you, if you hear something that they're saying about you, like it just personally for me, I just feel like it just don't work. So right now I'm using the medium elf glow halo glow setting powder i don't want it to make me look ashy i always stick to my same setting powders which are the one there's one from pat mcgrath that i use and there's another one from um charlotte tilbury that i use that is like one of my favorites but this one doesn't look too bad there's another question about boob size feeling comfortable with your boob size me i'm a small i don't have i don't have boobs at all like i'm i mean not i don't have boobs at all i do have boobs but they're just not they're not big mm, it just kind of like i don't know i don't know if you guys can see that but it's just giving me like a little bit of ashy and i'm not feeling that vibe i'm sorry guys another another um drugstore product bites the dust um i'm just going to sit under my eyes with my uh charlotte tilbury and pat mcgrath mixture that i put together because they're my favorite mixture right now so yeah i don't have the biggest boobs i hate that to say this but big breasts are so hyper sexualized it's unfortunate because there's like women that i'm sure they wish they were boobs were smaller so people won't be like oh my gosh you keep, why are you wearing that because that's like so like blah 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 or having to worry about people looking at them a certain way because their breasts are so big like they can't help it like we all kind of want what we don't have instead of just kind of appreciating what we do have i don't think that you should look down if you have do you have small breasts like don't be like oh my gosh or if you want to change it change it if you want a breast reduction get a breast reduction like i'm not against it just as long as it's safe and you're not harming yourself we're gonna do what you want to do somebody put in here about dating best friends i've never dated one of my best friends oh my gosh i don't have a good best friend i mean besides jermaine but that doesn't count <laughs> actually loki i did <laughs> i did he was my best friend though but he was my friend and he turned into my best friend all right so i'm gonna use this bronzer from wet and wild it's ticket to brazil what i was gonna say was it's not i don't think it's a bad thing i just think that when you do sometimes like it changes the relationship like, what things don't work out then you like won't be friends anymore i mean you never know it might work out and y'all might have the best relationship ever and have children and like live the best life i think it's i don't think it's a bad thing i think if you really really have like intense feelings for this person and you want to try to see where it goes and try i mean life is obviously short as we can see so i just say shoot the shot because you miss all the shots that you don't take ghosting i feel ghosting is kind of whack because it's happened to me it just doesn't make you feel good i feel like it's so important 
to just be real with people at this point like what are we five tell people if you don't like them and just move on women have to be especially careful because guys are in these, this day and age are kind of nuts if, unless you feel like your life is in danger then uh, by all means don't respond to this person don't communicate with this person like go about your business but i feel like at this day and age if you can't be grown up enough to just say hey like you know i just feel like this isn't working out like we shouldn't probably talk anymore instead of just ghosting the person because it just makes you feel so crappy i've been ghosted before and that just literally feels so bad because like what did i do unless this person guy or girl whatever is just not even worth giving any energy to whatever but I feel like if you like really like had like an invested kind of situation with somebody and you're just like, hey, I'm things working out. Like, let's just like stop talking. That's all you have to say. That's all I have to say. And then it's done. It really just depends on the context. This is how I just want to view myself. But I also want people to know about me too. Is like, I'm just a real person. Like, I'm going to tell you how I feel. And then that's it. Like, regardless if it hurts your feelings or not, like, sorry, but this is just how I feel. And, and anybody can say that I'm just honest. Like, I'm, I don't lie. I don't like try to sugarcoat things. I just be honest with people and tell them how I feel. Someone asked, is the imi is imitation the sincerest form of flattery? I wouldn't say it's sincere, but I would say that it is, it's flattering to know because it means that, you know, you're doing something that somebody else likes. You're doing something that is cool and innovative and somebody wants to try to emulate it. That means to me that you're doing something that is, you know, you're doing something that's a little bit innovative and somebody wants to try it. So I wouldn't say it's sincere because it is annoying and it feels like, you know, someone is taking away from the hard work that you put into something that you're trying. I wouldn't let it stop me from doing anything. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even take it to the point where it's like, I need to, you know, call this person out and I need to tell them unless it's something like interfering with your money, then absolutely you tell them or you do something about it. I would just say, keep, keep innovating, honey. Keep doing what you need to do at some point someone's not gonna be able to just easily copy anything that you do because you're the ones coming up with this idea you're the one who's doing something that's different and they want to try it and it's not always going to be the same so i would just say continue doing you i feel like there's nothing new that we've done everything's been done it's just you know different ways different perspectives of how it's done but it's nothing new there's no new concepts on earth like it's all been done before i don't think you should take it so hard but like i said if it's interfering with your money then absolutely i'd be like uh excuse me do you want to get sued? Someone else asked me if I ever regretted meeting someone. Yes, child. I wish you could unknow people. I wish that was a, I wish that was a thing. Like, can I unknow you? Because you get on my nerves. Like, I don't like you. Some some people I wish I could unknow. That's let's just say that. I, I don't regret meeting anyone because at the end of the day, I mean, honestly, they've shown me something. They've given me a lesson. Um, but yeah, there's some people I wish I could unknow. Right now I'm gonna use the eyeshadow from e.l.f. called Pumpkin Pie for shadow eye palette it's so cute and these colors look really pretty i'm just gonna do a very bronzy look it's not gonna be anything crazy on the eyelids because I, I don't have everything here with me either in, in florida so i couldn't really find something that was just gonna give me what i was looking for but i'm just gonna take this uh bronzer from wet and wild is there a such thing as appropriate hairstyles in the workplace for natural women feel like i understand what they're saying like basically should natural women have to wear an appropriate hairstyle in their workplace like they can't wear their natural hair in the workplace and i i haven't dealt with someone trying to be like oh you need to go home because your hair looks a certain way but i have had people like oh my gosh let me touch your hair let me do this oh how do you do like just really tr like you know the microaggression with like trying to make me feel a certain way because my because i'm black and i have like a different hairstyle every other day i feel like we as black women should be able to wear our hair how we want to because white women can go other other races of women can go and have their hair any kind of way they want to have it they can wear it in a messy bun they don't have to wake up and like i just feel like it's just still those ways of like just keeping you know us segregated and keeping us feeling like you know we're not good enough we can't we can't have we can't have the same thing as another race can have and i just feel like it's it's still ways of them to like suppress people and i don't feel like it's right i feel like it's wrong i feel like those things should be definitely changed soon because i we're in 2020 ma'am there is no reason why people can go to work wearing a body full of tattoos and i can't wear my natural hair can't even control what's co coming out of my head this next person can control what they have in their body but i can't wear my natural hair like it doesn't make sense a whole new decade and i people are still getting like mistreated and suppressed and and that brings me to another subject which not gonna get too political but i just think that it's super super unfair and super wrong when a certain race wears a style that is more cultivated to a certain culture 
and it's fine for them to do that. But then when a black person does it, it's not okay, and they get treated a certain way. It's not fair. Same thing. Like, the whole thing with the braids, I get it, hairstyle is a hairstyle, is a hairstyle is a hairstyle, whatever, but it's like when a, per- when a certain group of people are getting treated away for that particular thing, and another person gets to the past to do it, it's just not okay. Like, just take advantage of that and exploit it, and it's so annoying, and I don't like that. See, and some people do those things and get away with it. Somebody asked about being friends with an ex. I feel like it has to do with how the relationship ended. If it ended on some like really mature, nah, it just it just ended and it's like whatever. Then that's one thing. Me being friends with any of the guys that I actually dated and relationships with, I could not see me being friends with them right now. For what? For what? Once it's done, it's done. I have some friends that are still friends with their ex and they'll always be friends with their ex because like it's just they have that good relationship where it's like no i don't got feelings for you like that no more but like you'll always be my homie you know i still want to keep you around in my life and we might not talk all the time but you're still somebody that i respect in other terms of like just keeping people around when you really just you need to grow uh, apart from that be done i'm using the elf dewey setting mist Mmm. Smells like coconut. I just realized that I forgot to get a highlighter. I'm the worst, guys. I'm sorry. This is like the most. We got majority of drugstore, but I obviously just had like worms for brains right now because I just forgot to get certain things. Like, what the heck? I'm going to use this eyeshadow as a nose contour today. This one from the pumpkin pie. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I used to, um, I used to want a nose job. And the reason why I changed my mind is because... Like, at 27, I am finally, like, embracing myself. I know that sounds crazy, and, like, which brings me into my segue into confidence. Um, not equating this to, like, oh, you have to have find somebody to, like, value you, to value yourself. No. Um, but I will say that I was, start, I was beginning to, like, really just care more about myself, and I think maybe I shouldn't be so, like anti myself i should you know be pro myself and i was not saying that i'm super anti myself but just like you know thinking badly of myself i feel like i've always felt good about myself but there was just certain things that I just didn't and just to have somebody kind of like show you like no you're fine you're great stop and and have that constant like kind of have some of that have some of that reassurance from not only yourself but someone else it just it helped it, it really really helped but i'm not equating all of my confidence to just you know, like having a man and telling him him telling me like i'm good enough to have somebody help me in that sense or like have my mom like talk to me and, and help me and you know my family just helping me with like really embracing who i am and, and not being so like in my head but when you have a really good support system to help you it just I would just say surround yourself with the best support system possible. Some people don't have that, and I, I totally understand it. But when you see, if you can find people that to surround yourself like that with, it's, it, it, it makes it 10 times easier. I'm going to use Urban Cafe from NYX on my lips. Oh, I like her. She's cute. And then I'm going to take Stalkum from NYX. I haven't used Stalkum in so long. It's an OG. And then I'm going to take this, it's like a nice pink. Yeah, so I, my sister told me this little trick that I've noticed. I think Doja Cat does this, but I've seen some other girls do this too. Um, to bring the, sh the blush kind of like over the nose area and right under the eyes. Kind of gives you like this sunburnt look. Gotta find my mascara! Oh, I'm going to use this brown ColourPop one because I don't know where my other mascara is kind of this one's dry honey okay so i went through the self checkout line but when i walked out of the store it the buzzer didn't go off and i'm like they forgot to take this off so i don't know but i did pay for these i'm just letting y'all know um i got the light collection this is the serene light um from house of lashes all right well i feel like we've come to the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you guys like these girl talks, let's do more of them. Ask me more. I feel like you guys were kind of scared to ask me certain things. So I feel like next time we can just really dive in, answer some really gritty 
good questions, but I feel like these were great, and I, I hope you guys got some advice. I hope I gave good advice. I don't know everything, but I know some things. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I will see you guys next time in my next video. Um, I think after this video, or I'm not sure when I'm posting this one, but I will be having my jumbo twists that you guys see on Instagram that you guys really, really liked. I'll have that video up soon. I will see you guys next time in my next one.